Oh. What's the... I mean, what's the win... Com, com, I, I don't know the names of these counties. There you go. <laughs> Apparently, that's like a good trail. Yeah, I've never been. I'm going to check that out. Carlos gave me all the information on that, so. But apparently he says, you know, you go for miles. And he says, I, I think he even said they have like hard trail, light trail, you know, like they're marked. Cool, I'll do that. Okay. So, what were we working on with him? The, through the, through the, the pipes. And did he, he succeeded at that? Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Do you. All right. This was set up for my. Obviously, I just did a lesson before you guys got here. I'm going to have you bring him into the middle of these cones, turn him and back him out of these two cones. So bring him in the middle here. You have enough language with him that I don't even honestly need to make that any wider for you. I think that you guys have learned enough together that bring him in here, turn his tail towards the road, and ask him to back through. Now, make sure he believes you that you know those cones are there because that's what he's going to question. Yep. Good. Yeah. Good boy, yep. So that's okay. He just perceived that as driving energy. He perceived that as go energy, and that's all. But did you see how he, he wasn't certain? And his feet kind of said, I'm, am I doing, his feet asked a question. He, he asked, he asked, am I doing it? Because when he left, he didn't leave like, I'm out of here. <laughs> sorry, bud. I'm sorry. He left like, is this right? So that I love when they start asking questions, which means that that's already telling you a lot about your relationship right now. Okay, so now you want to ask him to back up a little bit so he's out of your space so he can see you better. You can get a little bit louder now because he's a little distracted. Get a little bit louder. He sees the pretty girl. All these horses are looking so pretty today. I'm like, oh, picture taking time. Good boy. There you go. There you go. You got him back. Now you got him again. Just when, when they check in, that's when you want to make sure you're available. You can go get that chair if you want. There's a mounting block right in there. It's got some crap on it. You can just knock it off. Back. Yeah. In fact, back. yeah, just knock the crap off on the ground, and then you can just use a mounting block. Good? Good? Back. Okay, so he's, what did that one foot just tell you? He, he, he knows they're there, but he's not sure you know they're there. Okay, so that one, that right hind foot, when it started to step under himself, he was making a decision to maybe avoid it. So now it's up to you to tell, see how he's getting tucked up under himself. That's him telling you, I know those are there, but I don't know that you know they're there. Good. Yep. 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 So now he's feeling for him. So you want to make sure that you steer him. Good. Good. Good boy. Now he'll do it confidently because once they clear it, he's good. Good boy. See how fast that was for you today? <laughs> All the way out. Yep, you want to make sure you don't keep him in trouble. Good. Good. Yep, yeah, yep, yeah, yep, yeah, always. Okay. Do those two. Now, how could you have done that where you would have done less for yourself? Where you would have worked, where you would have worked less hard. So, 
you knew he had to go that way to avoid stepping on the cone, which was very responsible of you. But do you know you could have stayed right here and let him do it? Okay. So your goal in life is to become very lazy when it comes to how much you move your feet. Good boy. Oh, what a good boy. Yep. Oh, what a good boy. He's on today. Yeah, if you t if you explain it, the definition is if as long as the word always has the same definition, they don't forget it. You know what a bicycle is, right? You don't have to be told that every day. <laughs> Good boy. Like you could take that mounting block right now and tell him to over the mounting block. We did teach it to him, right? Uh, no. no, not him. We taught it to Lady. Okay, so like even if you brought Lady over and you put the mounting block down, you start, she'd be like, oh, I know that one. You know, the, and 15 years from now, even if you don't do it again, she'll know it. If, okay, that one. So how can you ask him to go out and around that cone? Now, you have to make sure he believes that he's not supposed to go forward, that he's supposed to cross those front feet over before he starts moving anywhere forward. Because you don't want to get him into trouble. So put your energy on his shoulder. See, he sees that. Yep. We did teach him some kind of over because he just did it. Okay. Okay. Right, right. Was that with just you, or is that the one where Leland was in there with us? I thought I played with Lady that day. I know I've been to your house twice. But you weren't with us the second time. Yeah, no, she was at, you were at work, I think. You, I think you were either at work or, yeah, at grocery shopping. And it was just me and you. And we did, like, I had the weed on. Like, I had it over here. Uh-huh. Right? Over, yeah. Just over. He, he's going to side pass his hindquarters to you. Yeah. Because he offered it just now. That's why I was like, no, we taught that to him. Because we offered it to him. Okay. Good boy. I know. I didn't really say hi to you, did I? I'm sorry. He's like, hey, you didn't even really talk to me yet. <laughs> and look at how much lighter you can be with him now. I'm going to give you a, a fun one. Okay, that's okay. He did listen to you. Good boy. Yep, just, yep. Yep, that was, okay, you said sorry, so you know that was a little loud. Okay. Yep. Yep. Good, you haven't forgotten anything, even though I haven't seen you in a while. It's okay, he just saw it as driving energy. So make sure your head's tipped a little bit, so that way he knows for sure that that's what he's supposed to be responding to. Good. <laughs> Why, you ran out of diesel? You don't want to run a diesel out. That's not the same as a car. <laughs> Do you have to take the filter off and everything? Okay. Um, well, when he looked at you that time, it was more for, uh, like a, a question of what do you want as opposed to, am I doing it right? So it was more like a, what? Okay. So what you want to make sure is that you get him to where he can get out of your space. So what I would do is I'd back him up 
and get him out of your space. Don't you get out of his space. Let him get out of yours. Mm -hmm. Because he's perceiving your your yield as driving energy. So we want to make sure that we don't drive him accidentally on top of us. So you want to start with him a little bit further away from you. Good. 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 So now he knows those cones are there and he's trying to avoid them. So you don't move closer to him. Because if he does perceive that as driving again, he's going to come into your space. So we're going to try to keep him believing that he keeps his front feet still and he moves his hindquarters. So if you see he starts to lean up over his knees, like there, that means he's going to go forward. Okay, so if you, like, have you ever seen somebody that's leaning over a thing and you're like, you're going to fall? Yeah. When you see that lean over their knees, you want to interrupt that while it's still a thought instead of letting them make a mistake. So if we can get in, in the way of them making mistakes, they feel smarter more often. Leaning for, yep. So you want to get ahead of that. I know. I didn't say hi to you. He's like, please say hi to me. Please, please say hi to me. Please, your hand, something. <laughs> I did sort of say hi to you, by the way. I pet you. I remember petting you. So yep. Don't make that white noise. So go ahead and give him a little. Either turn the volume up or give him a little flip in the chest. So we're not going to just let him get used to that. It has to mean something. There you go. Good. Good. It's okay. Since our since our backup got broken, just go ahead and keep backing him through there. Back. We'll worry about steering him in a minute. Back. Stop. Look at me. <laughs> hey. Back. He's like, I want to play that barrel game I heard about. <clears throat> Good. Now let him back away from you, so make sure you, you have, yep, slack in your hand. Good. Back. So make sure that your expression, so you want this expression on your face that says, I need you to get out of here, okay? So, yeah. yep, you don't have to get really loud, loud with your actual actions, but your face needs to imply that you'd be unwise to stand here longer. Like you yeah, like you want Leland to get out of your room. You know, <laughs> get out of here. Sit on the sidelines. <laughs> Back. Oh, somebody's grounded from her phone? No. <laughs> I just sit there with a straight face. Hey, we're not doing that. He's like, but it tastes really good. Okay, so, okay, but then that, that's a good thing that it is because it's going to tell you that you're doing it too long, so now it's becoming white noise. So you're going to give him that look like I suggest you move back or I'm going to do something about it. Okay, so the look I gave him was... Okay, so you want to make sure that he feels that, that kind of, like you're, you're growling at him. Good boy, here. Okay, so now that we sort of fixed his back up, at least for me, let's see if you fixed the back up for you. Well, try to do the cones. Make sure you don't chalk up too much on that line if you want him to back up. Don't get him in trouble with that cone, though. Come on, buddy. I want you to do this because I got another fun thing to teach you. Back. Oh, let him do it. He's, he's going to do that for you. Back. Let him do it. He wants to feel like a star. He, he has a problem with that one for some reason, but he, he was willing to do that one. So. Nope. Nope. Back. 
Okay. And I just move sideways. Back. 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 Was that him telling me no? No, no, he just Back. flipping his hair around. Probably tickling him in the wind. There you go. Make sure you go in the center of his chest, though. So you want to make sure you get the buckles not anywhere else. There you go. There you go. Good. And now go pet him. Because you had to become a jerk to get your point across. You don't want him scared of you. Good. And see, now he licked and chewed. His eyes got real soft. He's kind of like, oh, all right, we're good. He actually sucks his tongue. Did he ever suck his tongue before? Yeah. Yeah. He was just sucking his tongue. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> okay, go ahead. We're going to get this one done. It's no different than those other than there's the big barn behind it that may be his concern. So don't let that bother you. You have to convince him that those cones are just as safe as the other ones he did. Yep. So make sure it's with the intention of pushing the hip only and not driving from the tail. Because if you start driving from the tail, he'll go forward. There you go. So he doesn't believe you 100%. There you go, there you go, there you go. He's going to just feel for it. He's a little worried. It's all right. You you got it, buddy. Well, he's just a little worried, but once, once this other leg clears, he should be all right. Oh, now you're going to have to straighten him out a little bit because he, he didn't believe it. Try again, try again, see if you can't just stay over there and back him up from over there, from that side of him. Back. 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 Yep, 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 back though. So try to back and steer it, there you go, there you go, back, back. Oh, yeah, he's like right under himself. He's like, I really don't know if I can do it. There you go. You got it. You just keep him on the same page. You got it. Yep, stand off onto that side of him so he doesn't. Yep, but keep backing up. Keep backing up. There you go. There you go. Up. Oh, okay, you got to help him. It's okay. It's funny. He was fine with the first two. It's going towards the barn. <laughs> I have so many videos where I'm sitting here like <laughs> I look like a jumping bean. Go boy, he's like, I'll just keep backing up here. I, I for some reason I just am afraid of those cones. Yep. You're doing a lot of work. But had you stayed right here, you could have managed him all right here. But you took him over there. <laughs> X marks the spot. Yep, don't turn that into white noise, otherwise it's going to break on you. You want the backup to always be good. She's being good too. Yeah. Okay. Send his rib cage this way. So put all your focus on his rib cage, and you'll basically cause him to like fishtail over here. Yep. 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 It's okay. It's okay.
Good. Back. Back. How do I give him reassurance that everything's okay? You can reach up and pet him when he makes an effort in the direction that you want. So if if you if he's been having a hard time backing up and then he takes a good backup step, you can reach out and just get let him know that's all I want, buddy. And then go back to asking for more. Because if you Turn that into white noise, it's going to break. Then you're going to end up having a broken backup. And that's, it's, it's bad having a broken backup. Because that kind of, that's your brakes. You know, you don't want broken brakes. <laughs> um, so if you ask him to take, say, say you wanted to take one step this way or this way, whichever. If he makes what it looks like a deliberate like this and looks at you, then reach out and let him know that he did right. Okay. But then don't. Don't spend time loving on him. You just you're reassuring him. You did good, and then move on. Good. See, if you hadn't had such success with the other two, I wouldn't. I would jump in, but I think you're gonna get it. So I don't want to jump in. He's just for whatever reason worried about these two cones. No, it's the it's no, the it's big the barn. It's the barn. It's like the big opening. Dark, you know, it's not lit up. See, I know you'll get it, but I'll help you if you want. But I know you'll get it. Okay. <laughs> okay. So, back, back. He needs to be out of my space enough. For him to see me. And then I'm going to tell his tail to move. Just your tail. Thank you. Just your tail. Just your tail. Hey. Uh-uh. Uh-uh. I'm not used to ropes that are newer because they're slicker. Nope. 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 Listen. Listen. Nope. 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 So I'm just helping him know that's not the right answer. That's not the right answer. When you get the right answer, I'm going to help you. Nope. Nope. That's not the right there. That was. Back. Back. Right. Back. Back. There you go. Back. Yep. Yep. You're right. Back. Yep. Yep. Back. You got it. Yep. 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 Back. Back. Hey, I'm not done. Back. Here, look at me. Wait, 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 wait. Look at me. Wait, wait, wait. Look, look. There you go. Yep. Good, good. Here, here. You did great. You did great. Yeah. Okay. Okay. So now he knows what we're trying to do there. So now it should be easier. I don't usually help on those types of obstacles because once they know what we want, then they kind of go into autopilot. But he, sh you should be able. To You'll still struggle a little bit. He wanted out of there. Once I sent him away, he wanted out of there pretty quickly. He didn't want to be yeah. in that space. So promise him that you'll do that and just kind of do that in your mind like you'll promise him that once you go through those cones I won't make you stay with your butt to the door <laughs> there'll be a time where you're going to be glad you have that much rope it just it's something to get used to and then after a while you won't even it's yours is very slippery still Mine's, you know, they've been in the dirt so many times that mine are, like, almost plump. Back. 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 Now, if you saw, I stayed right where his back foot is, and I did, I, he did all the work. I made him back way, away from me through the cones. I didn't follow him through, so he can do it. 
Just a matter of whether or not you're clear about what he want, what you want him to do. Good boy. Yep, yep, yep. He's on the right page. Yep. Now you got to steer a little bit the other way, though. And he's got a lot of forward going. <laughs> so it's your job. I convinced him he can do it. It's your job to convince him that that's what you want him to do. Yep. Good. Good. Back. There you go. Good. Good. Now. Yep. Yep. Yep, back, back. So the trick is going to be to give him direction and stay backing up. Because when you change pages, that's when he gets worried. There you go, there you go, there you go. You got it, 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 you got it. Let him do the work. Keep asking him though. Back, back, don't change anything, just back. Oh, he changed. Oh. Gently come on this side, gently, but ask him to back up at the same time. Back, 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 back. Good. Good. So he asked. He didn't want to go forward. He asked you if he was supposed to go forward. So that's when you would have given him just a gentle wiggle just for reassurance that you were right for asking. And no, I don't want you to go forward. Don't get frustrated. Don't get frustrated. He doesn't know what you're asking for. That's all. Okay, so in a case like this for you, how can you help him? You're okay, buddy. How can you help him know what you're asking for if you wanted to really break it down for him and baby step it big time? You can walk him from the other side to the girth, front feet through, and then back him back out. That could baby step it. So bringing him into the puzzle from behind it and then backing him back the way the rest of the way out that's how you can baby step it if you're really having a hard time it can help maybe get your adrenaline down too because you're getting a little frustrated and we don't want that because that just scares him more and, it, and this for whatever reason particular one is scary so if you get shaken he's going to feel that they don't know if that is frustration nerves whatever they just know that something to be afraid of so if he if you bring him in through here and then Take down all your energy and be like, you got this, man. And and then just like ask him as if you've done the whole puzzle. Then you can let him stand here for a second. And then you're going to take him away because we promised him we would take him away. Let him turn here, stand here. He can look over there. Let him lower his head. Maybe he'll even take a big sigh. Then he should be able to do it for you. Okay, if you want to break it down and help him because he is a little emotional about it. And then, like I said, as you're getting frustrated, you're going to just make it worse. You would walk him around and bring him in through, stop him at the girth, like when only his front legs through and then back him the rest of the way back out. You boys taking a nap. You're okay. You're doing it. You're right. Yeah, you can if you want. But just as a, you know, you're doing good kind of thing, but not. we're not going to hang out and have a love sesh. Good? Good. Now, stop. Yep, yep, yep. Stick with it. Stick with it. Stick with it. Tell him, tell him, tell him, tell him, tell him, tell him, tell him. Good, good. Make sure that that's square in the chest, though, not, not on the side. Good. Now, tell him he can go over towards that light pole. 
Although he stopped acting worried, but go ahead and we promised him anyway. Put your energy on his shoulder so he knew what to do with his shoulder. There you go. Good. Pause. Give him a second. He probably will go. <laughs> I didn't stress you out as bad as you were pretending. Huh? Okay. Huh? Yeah. I knew there was a sigh in there. I was expecting one of those big ones, like when a kid cries a lot. You know, I was expecting one of those. But that's okay. That just means he wasn't as stressed out as I was being led to believe. Okay. So go ahead and try to do the whole thing again. Or for yourself, if you want, you can do halfway in. Now, that time you almost got messed up because he almost said, oh, and came through. So this time, if you want to do it that way again, remember I said front feet only. You can now say to yourself, your challenge is, can I explain to him front feet only? Because you didn't explain it to him. He was like, I'm out of here. So... See if you can ask him front feet only, and then back him back out. So from there, invite him front feet only. Get his tail straight. You want him straight? <laughs> Good. That's the first time he reached out to you. So instead of moving his front end around like this, right? Because that's what you were starting to try to do. Yeah. What you would do is you would put your energy on his shoulder and tell him to move his shoulder away. So you would take the rope towards his shoulder and tell him to move his shoulder away. And then you can spin his tail after you tell him. Yeah, like point to the barn and then put your energy on his shoulder. So that will tell him to go that way with his shoulder. Good. And now tell his tail. There you go. There you go. Yep. Yep. There you go. Yep. Back. Good. There you go. Now he's straight. Good. Now invite only the front feet through. You step back so he can see you better. Good. Good. Now back him back out. Good. Okay. Leave him stand there for a second. I don't think he's as worried about the barn anymore as he was. Get his tail straight and bring him to his stifles. The front of his back legs. Yep. There you go. You caught yourself. You can definitely communicate everything you want without having to ever grab the snap. So point to the barn and send his shoulder that way. Back. Back now. Yep. Now you would point to my horses and send his shoulder that way to get him out and around those cones. Yep. Yep. Tell him to do something with his feet. There you go. Good. 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 Look at his tail. See if he gets swung around a little bit better. Good. There you go. It's okay. It's okay. He got worried. So he is more worried about the barn still than he's pretending not to be anymore. Tell him to do something with his feet. Good. He's happy to do it if you give him the language. Yep. Yeah, he started to ask, what should I do with my back feet? So hopefully he'll just do it now. Good boy. There. Now, get to work. It's okay. It's okay. So he's still worried about the barn. That's okay. Okay. <laughs> 
Good. Good. Now, to the front of his back legs. Whoa. Huh? Yeah, yeah, he's, his anxiety is getting greater about the barn. You, yeah, you can do it. If you want to try from out here and back him through, you can try that if you want. Okay. <laughs> you caught yourself. Once you start catching yourself is when you start making changes. Until you can catch yourself making the mistake, you can't change it. Yep. Yep. Point to that shed out there. There you go. Good. 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 So now be very precise about how much don't you want to be gentle about how much you ask for. So since you know he's going to do that, let's prepare for the mistake. So be ready to throw a wiggle in that line to stop the mistake from happening. So you're going to try to get ahead of the mistake, okay? Because we know he's going to do that. He's done it twice. If he does it a third time, it's definitely a pattern. So we want to make sure we interrupt it before it becomes an actual pattern. Because then it's a little bit harder to break. Good boy. See, you're wiggling the rope, adjusting it, and he's backing up. That's how subtle it can be. Yep. Yep. Good. 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 Back. Back at the same time. Yep. 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 So don't change the energy of the backup, just be prepared to do the backup. Back. Yep. Back. Yep. Nope. Yep, don't change the energy. Good. Good. You're a good boy. Yeah, let him finish that. Just go ahead and back him through there. Let him finish that. Practice with these cones. Go ahead and see if you could bring him just to the front of his back legs through these cones. Yep, you caught yourself again. Good. Yep, energy on his shoulder. Tell him what to do with his feet. Nope. It's okay, he asked. Those were asking feet. So you don't move. You stay right here. You tell him to go around there, come in here to the back leg, to his back feet, and then back back out. So you stay here. He is to go around at your direction. He has to come through here all the way to his back feet and then back back out. And you can't move. Energy on his shoulder, tell him what to do with his feet. That was my fault, I kissed. Yeah. 
And if your backup is good, take advantage of it staying good. So if he backs up nice to a light backup, don't get louder. And if he stalls out, mean it. There you go. He's got an idea what you want. So point towards my driveway entrance and then put energy on his shoulder. Nope, he made a mistake, so you wanted, to, you wanted to interrupt the mistake. So when you saw him leaning to go straight, then you want to make sure you interrupt that before he makes the mistake. Good boy. It was warmer earlier, I think. <laughs> yep, towards my driveway and then energy at his scar there. But yep, when he made the mistake, you wanted to interrupt the mistake before it started to really happen. So how would you have interrupted it? Yep, yep, okay. I just wasn't sure if you knew how to interrupt it. I didn't want to just tell you to do something you didn't know what you're, how to do it. Yep, yep, tell him to, yep. <laughs> okay, so from there, send him going forward send him all the way over to here his tail out through there so don't we don't need to obnoxious critters we don't need to back him through here and try to get him to move over just send him all the way through and turn his tail lead him in back him out So that was, that was a problem with your send. You didn't explain to him enough that you were sending him way over there. Do you want, see, we, we try to do things really close up and it doesn't help them. Meaning like, you know, you want to work right here, but we have to make them believe we're sending him way over there. So that gives them the focus of go. Cause if we say, well, we're actually going to work right here. He's like, well, then why don't I just stay right here? Right? So we want to make sure that he believes you were telling him to go to that telephone pole. So that's what you need to explain to him. I want you to go to that telephone pole. And then you guide him gently around with, you know, holding the line so that he knows he's supposed to arc back. Okay. So you send him towards me and then see if you can't get that loop done. Tell him to do something with his feet. Good. You're not going to roll. Yep. Make him think he's supposed to go to that telephone pole. Okay. Okay, we got 10 minutes. You're going to be a master at this. So watch. So he's standing here like this, right? So we're going to tell him... And then we're going to tell him he's supposed to go way over there. And then we're going to tell him to stop right there. And we're going to invite him through gently. Wait, 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 wait. Ah, 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 ah. That's not what I said. Nope, 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 nope. Yes, thank you. Okay, ho, ho, ho. Yep, back. Back, 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 back. Keep going, keep going. Back. Uh uh, uh uh, you're not done. You're not done. No, back, back. Now you're done. You can't decide when we're done. 
So one of the things I do with them when I really want to soothe them, like when they get worried, like see I had to get them a little worried for a second there. Think of your hand as being mama's tongue. Mama would lick their eyes, right? Yeah. So you can make them feel very comfort, comforted. Because a lot of times people want to tassel them, you know, get up between their hate and rub their forelock and stuff. And horses actually hate that. Um, so if you always think of your hand as mama's tongue, you'll, you'll be bonded like you wouldn't believe with a horse. All right, sweetie? Okay. Good boy. Hey, get her done. <clears throat> All right, help him out. Turn his tail towards the gazebo and let him back through there because he's out. Oh, he's all, all right, never mind. He was offering to go through those cones, and that's okay. Just sometimes when they start to get kind of frustrated, he's, he's actually fine, but when they start, if they offer something, sometimes you can take a break and say, all right, yeah, let's do